Peace and blessings, family. I'm your brother in the struggle, Ali. Today we would like to decipher and decipher a quote from Messenger Elijah Muhammad from February the 28th, 1961. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, we must unite regardless of religious beliefs. Simple, poignant, but so true. It was true in 1961, and it's true in the year 2022. Our theologies and theosophies and ideologies and concepts and beliefs and disbeliefs divides us. And Dr. Yaku Malik Shabazz's Law of Divide and Conquer makes us mediocre inconsequential in the universal order of things. We have to understand that if you're a Christian or you're a Catholic or you're a Sunni or you're a five percenter or a member of the Nation of Islam or you're a member of this branch of the Nation of Islam or that branch of the, or you're with the Honorable Mr. Louis Farrakhan, the Honorable Silas Muhammad, Jeremiah Shabazz, John Muhammad, Levi Kareem, Nasir, whatever. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said on February 28th, 1961, and I repeat, we must unite regardless of our religious beliefs. He explained to us in his last book, Our Savior Has Arrived in 1974. He said, knowledge and belief are different. We can believe that there's an airplane outside on the doorstep, but once we take an affirmative step and we open up that door and we look, we now know that there's no airplane outside on that doorstep. A lot of people believe that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad had one wife. Other people believe that he had multiple wives. A lot of people believe that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was physically dead. Other people believe the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was still physically alive. A lot of people believe that the mother plane is coming to save them. Other people believe the mother plane don't exist. Some people believe that Master Farah Muhammad is alive. Some people believe Master Farah Muhammad is still physically dead. But our beliefs should not be misconstrued as though we're talking about our knowledge. There are things we know, there are things we have wisdom of, and there are things that we understand, and there are things that we experience. But we can't summarize it and say, oh, it's a fact because we believe it. I believe all kinds of things, you know what I mean? But some things I have faith in, some things I, I believe it. I believe it because the messenger believed it, you know what I mean? I, 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 I may not have empirical evidence or scientific evidence that the earth is 76 trillion years old. There's no scientific way for me to show and prove that the earth is 76 trillion years old or the sun is 78 trillion years old. But I believe that the sun is 78 trillion years old. Some people believe it's only 6,000 years old. Some people believe it's only 4 billion years old, 6 billion years old. But belief and knowledge are different because everyone, whether you're Muslim, Christian, atheist, agnostic, black, white, rich, poor, everyone has what we call a world view. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad, in that regard, is in universal harmony with all human beings on the planet Earth. Everyone has a world view. What is your world view? What, what is it that, how you look at this? Now, I mean, when you look at the sun, now, I mean, just because someone say that's a cloud, you may not call it a cloud. You may not say that's a cloud. Just because someone says this is red or this is blue, you may not say that's red or that's blue. It could be the reverse in your, you know, a person be like one plus one equals two. Only if you believe it, because you have to first believe that the one is a one. You have to believe that the plus is a plus, that when you put a one plus one, you recognize the equal sign. But if I don't believe in the equal sign, one plus one equals 11 in my system. So Islam is mathematics and mathematics is Islam. So we don't want to confuse what we believe with what we know. And regardless to what you may believe, 
or what I may believe, I know that on February the 28th, 1961, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, we must unite regardless of religious beliefs. Peace and blessings, family. The struggle continues.